Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Q&A. I asked on Instagram for you to ask me anything and you sent through some questions for me so I'm going to be going through as many as I can today. I love this kind of video so I really hope you do too. Don't forget if you are not subscribed to my channel already I would love for you to stick around and click that subscribe button and if you are already subscribed click that bell button because you will be notified of when my new videos go live. Okay so let's have a look at these questions. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom first. Okay so the first one here, between parenting and work how do you and Mr Frigola time, find time for each other? Um, it's a really difficult one because <laughs> usually in the evenings I'm working and usually in the evenings he's just chilling out. We do try and get um, the odd date now at night every now and again but it is quite few and far uh, between. We definitely do need to start making a bit more of an effort just to go out uh, just me and him together but I think really we're kind of still adjusting to life as a family of three and I think it's only really now that we're kind of getting used to going out for the weekends and stuff because we've actually quite lived not separate lives we've always had our different hobbies and then we've had our life together that's just how our relationship's been I think it really works well that way because he has his interests I have mine and then we have our lives together so it has been a bit of an adjustment so to kind of answer your question it's still a work in progress but we are still you know happily in love and I think it's what is it this year 14 years might be 15 years, <laughs> I can't remember. Um, but yeah, we definitely do need to schedule in a few more date nights for sure. This next question is, is there anything you miss from your previous job as a lecturer? Um, I think probably the biggest thing is just being around people a little bit more. I am so, so grateful to be where I am at the moment. I have my own business, I work around my own schedule, but at the same time it can be fairly isolating, which sounds quite crazy because you have all of these followers talking to you all the time, people that follow on Instagram or YouTube, so you are interacting with people, but it's not necessarily that face-to-face -face interaction, so it can be fairly isolating, so I think the biggest thing that I miss is definitely just being around more people. Another question is, are you going to redo your kitchen? I really really want to redo my kitchen but we are possibly thinking of moving hopefully within the next year or so so although I would love to do it um, and I th literally think about it every day <laughs> um, probably won't be done I have actually rejudged it a little bit and um, swapped things around trying to get myself to fall in love with it a little bit more again but yeah, not at the moment as much as it pains me to say. This next one says, how do you discipline your kid? I think it's really difficult because at the moment Ella is only 16 months. She doesn't really understand um, discipline at the moment and I'm really conscious of, I bought this book called Discipline Without Damage because I really don't want to mentally scar her <laughs> in any way. But at the moment it's just about trying to teach her right from wrong. At the moment she still thinks when I say no that it's um, a game. So I suppose it's just, I'm saying I suppose a lot, it's just a matter at the moment of trying to reinforce different things and being consistent with it. And then as she gets older, I'll introduce dif different things. I don't know what those different things are gonna be at the moment. I'm just kind of winging it and taking it as it goes. Uh, but Ella is a very spirited little girl. She is, um, she knows her own mind for sure. I think it's gonna be difficult, but on one hand, I want her to grow and like flourish as a person but at the same time I want her to know what the boundaries are so it's a difficult one as far as discipline I'm still working on it and I definitely don't have it figured out <laughs> the next question is are you still doing Slimming World and I have actually just started within the last few days doing Slimming World again I absolutely loved it when I did it last year and the only real, real reason why I gave it up was because I just felt really I kept getting quite a lot of illnesses towards the end of the year and you know how it is you just your mind just goes off things so I would say 
with the illnesses that I had, I did lose a little bit of weight anyway. And then since Christmas, I put it back on again because I started to feel better. So I am going on, I've started Slimming World again and somebody else Set, just said Slimming World videos and yes they will be coming so I will be doing some what I eat in a day videos including what Ella also eats because I do get quite a lot of requests to do those too. Um, so yeah Slimming World is back on the cards and I'm just trying to get to grips with the new um, with the new like points uh, sin system for everything because a few things have changed so but yeah I am loving it so far again. How did you decide on Ella's name and did you have any other choices? So I had quite a long list of girls names which I absolutely loved. Anthony didn't really have any and I was really struggling to get him to just sit and go through names with me. So one, um, one day we were travelling up to see our friends who live in the Wirral and I literally took the baby books with us and I was like we are going to decide on a name all we're doing is driving so we can just think on a name so we just went through all different things and then we came across Ella which we both loved and then Grace obviously which we both loved as well and we thought Ella Grace Fregola just sounded beautiful so that is her name. So my lovely friend Daniela has asked if you weren't doing YouTube full time what would your job be and I guess it would just be doing teaching again. I would go back to being a beauty therapy lecturer. Um, but yeah, I don't, I mean, if it was, would you, what would you really want to be? I don't even think I've got an answer to that because what I'm doing now is what I really want to, want to do, <laughs> if that makes sense. Ah, oh, this one makes me a bit sad. How do you cope with the days when you just feel like you're not good enough? I have many of those days and um, this lady has put like a sad face so I'm guessing she feels like this too. Um, you are good enough, everybody is good enough. We all have those days where things feel quite overwhelming. I know that I have days where I just feel like I want to sit in a corner and rock and cry. <laughs> Um, just because things get on top of you. I think it's just taking things step by step, trying to stand back and look at yourself from the outside and just reassess things, see where what's going well, what's not going well and just take baby steps to work towards improving things. But to this lady, you know who you are, you are definitely good enough and at the end of the day we can only do our best and if you feel that you're doing the best then that is good enough. This next question is very, very deep. How do you view the world based on who you are now? I don't even know where to start with that question. That is so deep, is it not? Um, I feel that life is very different these days. For me personally, I've had to adjust to the new person that I am now and I found that far more difficult than what I realized I would. Um, I think this world is very difficult to live in these days because there is so many opinions everywhere, um, quite a lot of negativity and it's really easy to see that negativity, however there is also a lot of positivity and although with all this technology that we have these days, how connected we can be, um, some people can use that as, in a negative way, we can also use that in a far more positive way as well. So I think that's what we need to do more of. I think people um, are focusing too much on the bad things in life and we need to switch that around and focus on the positive things. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much how I view life in a nutshell, is that people need to be kinder to each other and that there is a lot of kindness out there to go around, we just need to pay more attention to it. I hope that kind of answers that question. <laughs> okay, so somebody asked, how long were you trying for a baby before you got pregnant? And um, I don't want this to be a trigger for anybody, if anybody's trying for a baby, then please don't take this too much to heart. Um, but we pr we got pregnant straight away, basically. Um, so we were super, super lucky. And I know that there's a lot of people out there which are trying for so, so long. But yeah, we pretty much got pregnant straight away. I was tracking my cycles um, even before, I've always tracked my periods. 
always. My friends literally used to take the mick out of me because I would use a little red dot in my diary like a sticker and I would put it in my diary and I would always track my periods. I'm also really in tune with my body so on the run up to actually trying for a baby I um, was really trying to look at the different signs in my body of when I was ovulating and things and I also was taking um, vitamins before we even started thinking about trying. So yeah I don't know whether that helped, whether we were extremely lucky but yeah we got pregnant straight away. Somebody's asked what is my favourite snack um, and this like flips between different things. Um, when I'm doing Slimming World I reach for carrot sticks quite a lot because they're nice and easy, they taste nice and they kind of fill you up. If I wasn't on Slimming World then it would definitely be like crisps and, and things like that. I'm really loving scones at the moment. Um, I have some scones on the side or scones, that's a whole different debate. Is it scones or scones? <laughs> um, I have some on the side at the moment and it's they're just calling my name because I want to eat them but I'm being good so yeah I could quite easily devour a whole packet of those. <laughs> I, get, I get quite extreme with these things. There are so many questions but I feel like I would be here forever if I went through all of them. Um, so I'm just going to choose one last one. Uh, there was is one here. What are your top 10 tips for mothers? Um, I think that's just a whole different video in, in itself. So I'm not really going to go into that. Um, how many children do you want all together? This changes on a daily basis. Um, just after Ella was born, I was like, I would love three kids. Then, um, I mean, this was like literally just as she was born. I wanted three or just before she was born I wanted three then shortly after I just wanted one <laughs> and then I went to two and then if you ask me over a period of two weeks I would probably flip between one and two depends how much of a good or bad day <laughs> we've had um, my friend Lisa has just had a little baby boy called Orlando which is her third it's made me extremely broody and now I want another baby but there's lots of things that are going on this year so I don't know we'll think about it towards the end of next year but I would like to as I'm saying this today ask me tomorrow I might just say no more <laughs> so there you go that is my little q and I really hope that you have enjoyed watching if you did make sure you give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with all of my latest videos thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again next time bye